Okay, bear with me because like my mouth is silly really bothering me. Okay, so 390.20, the first thing it talks about is that if there's sentence for a felony, the court cannot sentence the person until it gets the pre-sentence report. So that is a requirement for a felony. They have to get it for a felony, generally. There is one narrow exception I'll get to, but generally for a felony, they have to get it. Generally for a felony, they have to get it. Now for misdemeanors, generally they don't have to get a report for a misdemeanor. So this first section, when it talks about the 90 days, 180 days shit, that's talking about there's no agreed upon sentence. No agreed upon sentence. So it's like the person was convicted of a misdemeanor after trial. There's no agreed upon sentence. The court does not have to order a pre of investigation and report, but the court has a limitation on what it's allowed to sentence the person to without getting this report. So the first one it talks about is the court cannot sentence the person without the, and we call that like an INS in criminal, letter I and symbol S for investigation and sentence report, I guess. But anyways, um, that's kind of how they abbreviate it. And the court cannot pronounce sentence in excess of 180 days, okay? So that works out to about six months. But the person cannot be sentenced to 181 days. They can be sentenced to 180 days, but not 181 days or more. The next one it talks about is consecutive sentences in excess of 90 days. The court cannot sentence the person without this report, for example, to three consecutive sentences. Two of them would be 30 days and one of 31 days. Because in the aggregate, which just means you add them all up, it would be 91 days and it would be aggregating more than 90 days. So that's no good. I don't know why it's like that because you can get one sentence of double that. But for whatever reason, I don't know. Just memorize that, that they cannot do consecutive sentences that aggregate more than 90 days. So anyway, then the next thing they say is that you cannot get probation. Those are the three things that they can't sentence you to without the report, and there's no agreed upon sentence. Now, then the next section talks about when there can be a waiver. Now, you rarely see the word consent when they're talking about the court, but here's one of the places that you do see it. And it says the consent of the parties and the court if there's an agreed upon sentence of probation, conditional discharge, time served, they can agree to waive the report. Okay, so even though the first one is talking about probation, that you can't sentence the person to probation, if there's an agreed upon sentence and everyone agrees to waive the report, you can sentence them to probation. And then the other exception is when the sentence of probation is revoked, obviously, the person was already being supervised for, by probation, so there's no purpose in getting another report when you could just get a report from probation based on what they're supervising, you know. Usually that happens when the person violated their probation and now the probation sentence is being revoked. There's no point in ordering another report when the person was just on probation. A report has been prepared in the preceding 12 months. So if there has been a report prepared in the preceding 12 months, it is not required that the court get another one. Um, okay, so then the only other thing I want to mention on this video is that there is an exception in New York City only, New York City only, when there's an agreed upon sentence of 365 days or less. So this is not an upstate sentence. It's going to be served at Rikers. It's not going to be an indeterminate sentence. It's only a definite sentence that it's allowed for because, again, it's 365 days or less, which means it is a definite sentence, definite sentence, okay? So the court is allowed in New York City only on consent of the parties and the court to sentence a person without the report to an agreed upon sentence of less than 365 days. Now this actually came up in my court. The person was willing to take, take a plea and take eight months right there on the spot. 
And because of this exception, the court was allowed to sentence the person that day.